Today on the Broken Subwoofer channel we have a Cambridge Audio Megaworks uh, THX 550. These are my computer speakers at work and uh, they are not uh, a newcomer to this workbench. And uh, in a previous installment we've uh, replaced a bunch of caps in this and uh, repaired this standby circuit and it's worked for about a year and uh, it's occasionally going bang when I turn the main switch on and when I got back from vacation this time around it went bang very very loudly and then proceeded to not turn on at all. Uh, the fuse was in good shape surprisingly uh, because it, the loud banging hinted at a primary side fault uh, but uh, if you've had a close look you might be able to guess what the issue is and it's not a bad cap per se but as with so many of these corrosive goo. So in the past I have actually cleaned out some of the corrosive goo out of this but uh, clearly not enough because it has had a major toll on this 33 microfarad primary sound capacitor or rather uh, there has been arcing over from uh, the uh, a track which has lost its solar assist here due to corrosion it's just pure copper there uh, and the outside case of a capacitor which has made this rather a lovely sooty spot on this which is not just y y yuck Jeez, you can really see how it's been arcing over there big 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 spot so I'm gonna clean this crap up put a new capacitor in place I've got a 100 mic uh, fake <laughs> niche kind of eBay which has the same pink configuration and size and uh, we'll see if this thing starts living again. Uh, last time I had this apart, all of this stuff was in decent nick still. Uh, in just a year it's turned brown and horrible. Unless I misremember, but I think it was at least not entirely horrible. So yeah, let's just fix this thing and get it over with. Ah, with the gear removed, it's become quite obvious why this thing will no longer turn on. Because I would wager there's supposed to be a track right there, which I bet is going to coincide with the spot where we've had our arc over on the cap. Yes, indeed. So, mystery solved, I will bridge that track. It just goes to one leg of that resistor and it'll be good as new. Okay, there's the jumper wire installed. So, I think all that's left to do is give this thing a power on test. All right, so we've got everything reassembled. Not that I really had anything apart. Here. We've got a test speaker going out from one of the front input, the front outputs. Uh, we've got the input signal coming into the front channels, and our little dandy control pod hooked up. I've even gone to the effort of replacing all the buttons in this thing. That's why I don't want to uh, trash this thing. So here comes the power. The previous symptom was this green LED would not light up at all. It would sometimes flicker. It would usually just go bang and not do anything. So here comes power. And it seems to have turned on. We've got standby. My test error turned off because it is overzealous. Press this button and we should hopefully have some tunes. And it's fixed. Good. Next. 